What's up everyone? I'm back and today we're uh, we're going to do some uh, of more more of uh, our favorite things 3D skills. Okay, let's go. So the first 3D skill I want to show you is uh, it's a bit similar to uh, the first video I ever made. But this is the first one. And at the last one I will give you a special tip, so make sure you stay around to the very end. But the first one is what I showed you in the my first video was you pull it to the left and you lift to the other side. Now you will step out with right, you pull it to the left and you step out. Hopefully the defender stick will be like this flat on the ground. So when you do it, you left, right, and oh, it's not very clear. Sorry. So right, step out, left, and then you lift. So again, right, left, lift. All right. That was the first one. I'll show you a bit faster. You do this. And you've lifted it over the defender stick. And now you can continue your run. Alright, so the last one. No, sorry. The second one is very useful if you're going um, over the baseline or the sideline. It doesn't really matter, but it needs to be on the on the right side because what you want to do if you are if you if you at home is a is a defender you want to run at your a defender you pull it like this and you go a bit sideways so if I step back a little bit you can see better you pull it like this you pull it towards you you and then you lift so it's you, you walk, you turn like this, you lift. All right? Hopefully you understand. So normally you will dribble like this, but now you dribble a bit like like this with your butt to the uh, with your uh, butt to the sideline, or the baseline. You pull it towards you, and then you lift. But there's a last twist to make it really useful. Because you keep on going sideways, but you think that you actually go in inward with the lift. But then the last part is when you do this. So you don't. You need to make a, make sure it's not going too high, otherwise it will be dangerous play. But you pull it towards you and you tap it through the defender's legs. So when you lift, you hope that the defender steps out with his foot like this. And then the ball will go through his feet. And then you can continue running. It looks really cool if it works. So at full speed it would be like this. So again, if I show you with the cones. Like that. So try that and go. Let's go to the next one. So uh, the last one. This one is really tricky to do because it's pretty difficult. Even I can't do it all the time. But it's really fun to do if you uh, if you want to completely uh, leave your defender uh, lost. So what you need to do is the beginning of the first uh, one I taught you. It's like right, left, lift. But now you're going to do this right, left, dig, dig. So you're adding an extra touch in the air. So it's right, left, up, and then again. So for the defender, it will be. And then you get past your defender. That one really uh, works well. Because you're most of the time defenders think 
that when you're in the air, like this moment, you just stop, you just stop doing anything with the ball and just run after it. But it's really useful if maybe the defender doesn't commit to it. So if after the first lift, the defender doesn't commit to the, to the trick you use, you can just do that. And then you can cut inside. It's a bit harder to do on, um, on speed, but I'll try to show you. So, that was the last trick. So the last tip I want to give you is when you do the 3D skills, especially, for example, this one, make sure you actually, um, how do you say it? Sorry, you, make an, uh, you create an angle for yourself because when you when you're running with the ball and you now try to lift it, it becomes really hard to lift the ball. But as I taught you in the three, the the free three D skills I taught you, now you can create an angle like this. You pull it to the side, and then it's easier to lift because it rolls up to your stick. So, hope you found it useful. Try them, and uh, let me know in the comments if you uh, if you've eliminated an defender with it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.